Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I'm so grateful that you stopped by. Thank you so very much. We're going to go ahead and do an overall energy reading for the month of December for you, Cancer. Let's go ahead and get this started. Now, I do ask if this resonates with you. Please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And take what works for you and take and leave what does not. All right. So, we, oh my gosh, Cancer, look at all of these. Now, I do not read reversals, just in case you don't know. Holy snap. Look at that. All your cards, Cancer. All your cards. Wow. This is awesome, right? Oh my gosh. All right. So, you might be having a new person come into your life, right? It might be... Um, Let's see, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, Cancer, I'm so excited for you. Let's get one more card here. Five of Wands. Okay. Oh, my God, I just love these guys on the Five of Wands. Look at those faces. are so cute. All right. Wow. This is, this is going to be wonderful. This is just going to be wonderful. So let's start off with the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Cups, all about, you know, just new love, new life, time to change. A new person may enter your life, right? A new, you might have a new relationship. If you're looking for a new love, this is going to be the time. Um, if you're looking for a new job or a new business, um, you know, or if you're looking to go ahead and have, um, you know, get a promotion, maybe you may be getting a new boss, right? So know that that's going to, that's going to work out great because with this 10 of Pentacles, the 10 of Pentacles is all about wealth, stability. It's time for you to be stable. It's time for maybe for you to retire, right? Or you're working and you're getting a raise with a better job that's going to go ahead and give you more money towards retirement, right? You're going to be leaving a legacy. This is, this is just awesome. I can't believe we got all, and I say we because I am a Cancer also, we got all the waters. All right, King of, King of Water, um, very trustworthy, right? Very cultured, very respected, and lined up with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is all about raising money, ideas, jobs. See how he has this to-do list here? He's got, he's ready. He's ready to move forward, right? So open up your heart, right? Realize those around you have ideas, right? And it might be ideas that, that include you, right? It might be ideas that can go ahead and move you forward into your inheritance or into your retirement or into just financial stability, then this is great, right? We've got the Ace of Waters, and then we've got the King of Waters. Then, of course, the page in the middle. But this is like going from the number one through all through the whole the whole gamut, right? Ace of Waters is finally is about finally finding that person, right? Maybe falling, maybe falling in love if you're looking for love. Great health proposal, right? If you're looking for a new job, just like we talked about over here, it's time. You're going to, you're going to move financial capabilities for you. It's just going to be out of this world right now. It's just going to be, it's just going to be wild, right? Listen to your intuition. I can't tell you enough cancer because you know, we always have, not always, but we do have that intuition. We have that ability to, um, to know what is right and what is wrong. We get those gut feelings. I, I get them all the time. Um, so we know what is right and what is wrong, right? But with this eight of wands, we've got this, we've got this, or I'm sorry, with this ace of water, right? Ace of cups, we've got the five of wands. Now the five of wands is usually about, you know, maybe some defeat, maybe some, somebody is, is, you know, talking down to you, right? Maybe somebody doesn't want you to have a new life. Maybe somebody wants you to be grumpy like them, right? They're, they're definitely, you know, wanting something that, that I want you to push back on, right? Anything that's negative, push back on because you only want to receive good, right? Release the old and bring in the new, right? It could be that there's some competition for a new love, right? 
Could be there's some competition for a new job or for a um, for a um, move up in your job. Uh, oh, good gravy! I can't even think of the think of the word right off the hand because I'm so excited about all of these. Um, a job. Um, oh, geez, criminy. A a um, ah, an improvement in your job, right? It'll come to me. I swear, it'll come to me. Um, but it's time. It's time for for you to move forward, right? Promotion. That's the word I was looking for. Snaparoo. <laughs> so it might be competition for a promotion that's coming up, right? Um, and the promotion is going to go ahead and have extra money, right? It's going to to give you some more security, some more financial security. Wow, that should be a long time to figure out that promotion word, huh? Jeez, criminy. All right, let's go ahead and get three more cards here to clarify what we have here, angels and spirit guides. But I see this is this month is December is going to be beautiful for you, Cancer. You're gonna you're gonna trust that intuition that you have. You're gonna go ahead, and it might even be that you get, um, you know, maybe you get a, a bonus, a, a end of the year bonus. Some people call it a Christmas bonus. Um, you know, or it might be if you're self-employed, somebody might want to go ahead and invest in your company um, or work with you, right, to go ahead and help help um, with some financial strengths. Okay, and then we've got the chariot, which, of course, is our card. All right, we've got the page of swords. Very nice. And we've got the, oh, interesting. Okay, so we've got the seven of wands with, along with the five of wands. So it could be there's going to be some competition in what you want to move forward in, right? But you are moving forward because you've got this, wow, you've got the chariot, right? Chariot's all about action, all about, all about moving forward. And it could be in a relationship. It could be in business. Um, it could be just moving forward in within your life, right? Things are going to move forward and they're going to be positive, Right. They're going to move forward. He's he's moving towards something that is going to, to be positive for him. He trusts his intuition to go ahead and move forward. Then we've got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords along with, along with our King of Water and the Page of Pentacles. Look at that. We've got two pages. Pages are all about thinking about new ideas, right? So the Page of Pentacles is about new ideas, innovative ideas, raising money. The Page of Swords is all about, you know, maybe not trusting, but but knowing that that he can think, he can look, and he can realize what is moving forward. And since it is paired with the Page of Pentacles, he can trust his intuition, trust your intuition, because you've got the King of Water there, and he is always open. His heart is always open. His mind is always open. He is constantly thinking, right? How can I help my people? How can I help my tribe? Right? He is constantly thinking. And then, of course, we've got the the Seven of Wands that is actually um, clarifying the, pay, the Five of Wands with this Ace of Water. Um, so there's going to be some new ideas, right? We're talking about new ideas over here. There's going to be some competition, maybe. There's going to be some somebody that doesn't want you to start that new idea. Somebody that does not want you to have that, that new promotion. Somebody that does not want you to move forward. But you know you can. I'm going to get one more clarifier for these wands here. Everything is look. Everything is looking good. Just don't let those wands, you know, don't let that competition um, overpower your thinking. Oh snap! <laughs> okay, so we got the judgment, right? Clarity. That's what you need is clarity. Know, know that that what you want, you can have. Manifest it, you guys. Just manifest it, right? Go out, sit in the ground, get grounded. Um, you know, and trust your intuition because cancer, we know that we have, we have the best intuition, right? We know that our intuitions usually don't, don't steer us wrong. So realize, all right, let's see this last card here. Stop, drop and ground, ground yourself. Yes. Stop, drop and ground. This is so true, right? Get grounded, go outside, um, Walk in the grass with your bare feet, um, as long as there's no snow, right? <laughs> uh, 
Um, walk in the sand, walk at the beach, walk along water, get yourself grounded, ask for help, ask your guides and goddess or your guides and, and your goddesses, what do I need to do to move forward like this chariot? What do I need to do to become this Ten of Pentacles, right? To have that self-sufficient wealth. What do I need to do with that? Oh, this is wonderful, Cancer. This is fabulous. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful December for you. And I want you to know I love you all. Namaste. Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I'm so grateful for you to stop in by. I do thank you. Um, this is going to be for your December reading. Now, this is for your overall energy for the month of December. Now, take what resonates and leave what does not for others. Now, I do ask if this does go ahead and resonate with you to please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And then let's get you started here. All right, so we've got the Six of Earth, the Seven of Fire, and the King of Waters. Nice, right? So it looks like you might have some gifts coming in this month, right? Well, it is December, obviously, right? So so you may, but, but this is some extra gifts, right? This is gifts of money. Um, you know, it could be a new career opportunity for you, Capricorn. Let's see what else we have. We've got the Queen of Swords. The Page of Wands. And the Ace of Swords. Nice. Looks beautiful. All right. Let's see what we have here. Let's make sure that you're all in the window here of the camera. All right. So let's check and see here, Capricorn, what we have. First, we're going to start off with the Six of Earth, which is the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. All right, so the Six of Earth or Six of Pentacles is all about giving and receiving, right? Prosperity, charity, gifts. Well, of course, it's December, right? So we all like to give when we when we can. Um, also a great time right now if you are self-employed to do some type of charity, give some money towards charity because obviously you can write that off for taxes, right? As you can tell, I'm a, I've been an entrepreneur for 30, 40 years, so... Um, I'm all about the charity work, right? But it looks like you may be receiving some, right? Also, so it's giving and receiving for this for this month. I know for myself, I personally love to give because it just makes me feel better, right? It just makes me feel good. Plus, it gives you room to receive more, right? The more you give, the more you receive. So this is a great card to go ahead and, and have. Especially when it's when it's um, teamed up with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is, you know, she's honest, she's skillful, she's very self-sufficient. So I do see that if you are um, self-employed, that you that you are willing to go ahead and give, and you are going to move forward. And maybe if you are if you are working for somebody else right now, it could be with this Queen of Swords that you are looking to be more self-sufficient, right? Looking to maybe become an entrepreneur, become your own boss, right, with this. And if that is the case, it is going to be very profitable for you. It's going to be very good for you. Now let's see what we have with the seven, with the seven of fire and then the page of wands combined together. So seven of fire, of course, is seven of wands. And it's all about you know, protecting yourself. It could be maybe you were feeling some competition coming in, right? And you needed to defend yourself. But when you're when you're paired with this page of wands, which is also fire, of course, um, it, it goes ahead and works together, right? It might be that you're starting a new project, which is going to be perfect right within these, um, you know, right within these two cards here, right? With having that being self-sufficient, becoming self-employed, coming, becoming some, um, having some ideas, right? But then also defending yourself, right? It could be that somebody's saying, hey, you know what? You shouldn't be leaving this job, right? Because you you may not know what's going to happen. You don't know, you know, what is what is happening, 
but do you, and you may have to defend yourself, right? It might be at those Christmas parties with family members that you, you know, you suggest that or you let them know that you started a new business, right? And trust me, I know, again, being self-employed, you do have to defend your move sometimes, right? But don't feel like that's a bad thing, right? And don't feel as, as you're defending it. Feel as you're educating the people, right? You're educating your family that you want to move forward, right? You want a new project. You don't want to feel stale anymore, right? It's time to move on. And then we have the King of Wands or, or the Water. I'm sorry, King of Water, which is King of Cups. And then your, your Ace of Swords. So I think it's interesting at this bottom, you've got the Queen of Swords and your Ace of Swords, right? Ace of Swords, all about new ideas again, Capricorn, right? And then the, you've got the King of Water that is, you know, enjoying things. They like the willingness. He likes to, he likes to move forward, right? He's got all this different information, so much, and he's so trustworthy and so respectable, right? That people just listen to him. And also, you know, the King of, the King of Cups likes to do charity work, right? Likes to move forward, likes to open up the, his heart or her heart, right? Uh, this is a great reading, actually, Capricorn, as we get more involved into it. Definitely, definitely a great reading. You also have six and seven, right, in a row, right? Which means things are going to be moving forward. Things are going to be moving. Look at you've got the queen, the page, and then the ace here. Beautiful. You're going to be moving forward here, Capricorn. And, um, you know, if if you're looking into a new business or you're looking into a job um, and working in, with a job, it's going to be, it's going to work great. Holy crumb. Look at that. A star. You've got the empress and one more card here. Oh, the devil. Now, isn't that interesting, right? That's really interesting. And, and we'll get back to this devil, but I really don't think that the devil is bad, right? I kind of look at him like a, a um, you know, maybe an ending, maybe somebody moving forward. You don't have to have that downfall. So let's, let's, we'll get to him later. Um, let's add this star onto this. Holy crap. Pardon my French. Holy crumb. So the star, right? The star, you are the star. There is inner faith. There is inner clarity. And with these two cards here, you are going to be the star. You are moving forward, right? You are definitely going to be um, giving and receiving. And the more you give, the more you're going to receive. Now, this doesn't mean you have to give $1,000, $10,000, even a hundred dollars or ten dollars to your charity it could be just you know maybe cleaning out your closet and giving some of your some of your clothes that you have not worn for a while to a shelter right it doesn't have to be financially it can be giving just something that's that is not working with you um, or for you right like maybe those old jeans or those old shoes or something that you no longer need it's moving, it's giving that so you can get forward. And then moving into, if it is, you're looking for a new position, maybe looking for a new job, maybe looking for to become self-employed, it's going to work. And I think I said that before I even pulled this card. You are going to be the star. You are moving forward, Capricorn. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you, right? Because it's all moving this way. And we're going to clarify this little devil here. So let's go on with the Empress added to the Seven of Fire and the Page of Fire. We're going to add that Empress to it. Empress is all about fertility, abundance, development, right? I definitely, oh my gosh, Capricorn, I definitely see you guys moving forward, right? Moving into, um, into a into a new position if this is regarding business maybe moving into a whole new um maybe moving into a home maybe moving into a whole new neighborhood and becoming that empress right moving into um just moving forward right i just love it i just love it 
All right, I'm going to pull one more card on this devil because he does not belong in this whole situation here, right? Angels and spirit guides, give me one more card to clarify this devil. Just give me one more card to clarify this devil. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so we've got we've got the six of swords. Okay, so movement again is you know we've got movement. We've got um, a transition going on here, which is what he's doing here. So let's pull up these cards, King of. King of Cups, of course, we have, you know, willingness, enjoyment, open up your hearts around you, Ace of Swords, all about new ideas, mental clarity. Then this little devil popped in, right? But we went ahead. The devil can be, you know, it can be that you have some failures, right? And everybody knows that that a failure is just a lesson, right? It's not to, it's not a failure that you, that you uh, should not continue moving forward, right? Um, it is a failure for you to learn, right? For you to move forward. And as we clarified with the six, with the six of swords, you know, six of swords is all about relocating, and that's what I was talking about here. All about moving forward. All about abundance. See how he's? I'm hoping you guys can see this. Oh shoot, my screen here just hold on for a second so i can see what my screen's doing here there we go i just want to make sure you guys can see it so the six of wands i'm sorry six of swords is all about moving forward right and you can see you've got two people here it looks like a woman and a child and you've got the gentleman here the man here he's pushing forward he's pushing to new lands to good lands to future lands your future is going to be awesome it is just going to be fantastic Capricorn. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful month for you. This is great. Let's go ahead and um, I like this. I like this a lot. Let's move forward onto this. Now, if by chance you guys were looking for a love reading, you're going to move forward, right? It, you're you're going to move forward. You've got gifts coming to you. You're going to be the empress. The empress is all about you know, abundance, fertility, development. So it might be you're developing a love relationship, right? Um, and if it's if it's regarding business, you're going to be developing new creativity. But this is going to be the overall energy here is going to be beautiful. It's just going to be beautiful for you, Capricorn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull one more card here for you. And let's go ahead and... Get one more card here for Capricorn. What's one more card here for Capricorn that they need to know for their overall energy for the month of December? Overall energy for the month of December. Accept and receive. Damn. Damn. Right? What was I talking about here? Accept and receive. The more you accept and give, or I'm sorry, the more you give, the more you accept and receive. And receive it with open arms, right? People give you things because they want you to receive it. So receive your gift with open arms. All right. I love this, Capricorn. You guys have a fabulous, fabulous December. And I love you all. Namaste.